With the introduction of the Boeing 787 at the very end of 2011, airlines have a new aircraft type at their disposal, which was promoted by Boeing as being an enabler of new routes. The question is whether airlines have actually used the aircraft this way, and how the newer A350 is used. The 787 was introduced in 2011 by ANA, and there are now just over 900 in service. The A350, in service since 2014, but like the 787 didn't start operations until early in the following year, now has around 350 aircraft in service. The growth lines for the 787s are slightly steeper than the A350, as the 787 production rate is higher. The number of 787 routes rose fairly steadily until 2018, when there was a big jump, primarily caused by Norwegian starting long-haul operations with the type. 2019 growth has leveled. Interestingly, the 787 was only gradually introduced to longer routes, while the A350 jumped straight in with routes averaging over 4,000 kilometers. The Boeing 787 has been operated on almost 4,100 routes, as routes by airline by direction. Some 3,200 of these were previously operated by a different aircraft, and 900 were new routes for that airline, that makes 22% of total routes. Two airlines opened more new routes than they had before, long-haul locals carriers Norwegian and Scoot, and the other prolific route opener is TUI, but with low frequencies. The Airbus A350 has been operated on 920 routes, again by airline by direction, and 840 of these were previously operated by different aircraft. 81 routes were new for that airline, 9% and less than the 787. The A350 is on average a larger aircraft, and therefore you would expect fewer route openings as the risk is higher. One airline opened more routes than they had before, but it's a small one, French B, and the airline opening most new routes with the A350 is Cathay Pacific. For both aircraft types, the routes that were not previously operated, new routes, are significantly longer than the routes that were operated. So what did these new aircraft types replace on routes that were previously operated by something else, another aircraft? Looking one year after the introduction of the 787 or 8350 on the route, both have taken around 40% of the capacity on the routes they are operated on. The 8340 and the 767 have pretty much disappeared, and clearly the 777 and 8330, the most popular aircraft there until now, were squeezed out of these routes, and some right sizing seems to have occurred. Interestingly, the A350 operators still have a chunk of A380 operations, and the 787 operators still see a lot of narrow bodies on the same routes. In summary, some airlines have used especially the 787 to open new routes, but mostly they have been replacing older, less efficient and more expensive aircraft.